hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforson i hope you are good and doing well so today i'm going to show you and discuss about this topic that is called how to execute a sql query shop api with postman and uh, here are. so before starting this video if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel is awesome so let's get started without any further delay and please watch this video until end and this is the topic so we will discuss this one and uh, before that if you are new about this integration part so you can watch my salesforce integration playlist you will be get an idea about integration okay so let's get started without any further delay so here you I just connected my org so if you don't know about the how to connect Salesforce with postman so you can watch my previous video about integration and uh, here I already connected my Salesforce org that's why you can see here these all kind things right so how to execute a SQL query under postman right so first of all you have to create any request right so here you can see the method type is a post right and this is my URL org URL here here to here right after that you can give this one because right now I'm using SOAP API that's why you can see like service SOAP slash C and then API version name so SOAP always work with XML format that's why I will show you the body of this request as well header so first of all you have to set the header that is called SOAP action and content type so soap action basically used for uh, handling the request right so without soap action we cannot perform any kind of request or request right so here you can select soap action is empty right now after that you can select content type so content type means which type of data you want to post into the server so I just want to post my request as a here you can select text or XML format that's why I'm choosing this one that is called text and XML so this is the first part you have to configure it that is called header under this header you have to configure this two key and values pair right so here you can see the header is done here now come to the next part that is called body under this body here you can see, see this is the soft uh, header body under this soft header body you can see the header section session header so under session header we have like session ID so every request have a unique se uh, session ID so after maybe like uh, one hour two hour based on your session uh, timeout so it's a automatic changed based on your need so you have to configure this session ID as well right after that you can see like soap envelope body so under this body we have like query under this query you have to pass your SQL query right so how to execute this SQL query so here I just simply write this simple SQL query regarding account object now you can see like select ID comma account number name rating from which object account object you can use any kind of object let's say standard or custom object based on your need so this is the prerequisite so you have to create this um, request body so without request body we cannot post any kind of things right so if you don't know about how to get this session ID so you can watch my previous video regarding Salesforce integration playlist and you will be get an idea about this session ID right so here you can see the simple query so how to execute this one so you have to maintain this XML file first of all like this and here you can see like send button so URL should be like this otherwise you will not get any kind of like outputs so let's say first of all let me change something here let's say C to N and let's say let's see what happened so here you can see like N once you click on this send button it's throwing some error that is called 500 means 500 server error so this is the server area server error means like you cannot get any kind of response from the server side that's why you can see like this status code that is called 500 server error right why because we have some error under our URL so here it, it 
here you can see like fault string under invalid url must specify custom something like that so we have like invalid url that's why you can see this error here right so you have to fix it so how to fix it so just you have to change this n to c and again let's say i want to change something in a session id let's say i want to remove this s and again you have to click on this request and now still you can see like 500 error now it's time to see different type of error like invalid session id that's why here you have to maintain this session id so it it should be like exactly your session id relate, uh, regarding your session right so let me change it here like s yes. and again you have to click on this send button this time you will be get a actual output of this query so just click on this send button now here you can see like status code 200 means it's a okay okay means successfully so uh, we already send some request here right that's why you can see the output here so let me expand this one and now you can see the response from the server so now under here like header limit information we have like api limitation in salesforce because salesforce always work governor limit that's why you can see the api limits and come down under this uh, soap and love body you will be see like query response under query response you can see like result and here you can see the outputs each and every request right means how many records you have in your org that's why you can see each and every records here right so here you can see that this is the first record here to here this is the second record and this is the third record right. there are so many records so based on your uh, query result here you can see all the results right you can add one more parameters under the query and you can see the output right so let's say i want to add like industry so before that let me show you industry is not here in this response right here to here you can find out only id as of means salesforce id name rating this is the salesforce field okay so salesforce field we have only like id name rating in my query that's why you can see this response here so i want to add another column that is called industry here let's say industry and let's see what's happened so just click on this send button and again you can see the output as we expected let's say id industry name rating each and every fills value here right so you can add as number of fields here in this query based on your need or you can filter out this query as well here let's say i want to make it the filter here let's say we are close so let's see it's working or not so always good practice always standard keyword always capital for now i'm using like where under here let's say i want to take only that records content only the rating as a called so let's say rating equals to like called so let's see it's working or not so just click on this execute button and let's see this is a 200 response so now means it like this is the okay means successfully response coming from the server now come down now you can see each and every records having rating value as a called right like called you can check each and every records so you can add the where clause as well and as much as you can like any aggregate function or any clauses limit offset anything as you want so you can add it in this query right so this is the way to query the records that particular standard record or account and also you can use let's say i, I have another custom object and i want to fetch it uh, fetch out here the value of the custom object so how to do that so same process you have to change it here to here and now you have to use like id let's say um, anything as you have let's say i have a custom object so let me open the custom object first of all and let's see what happened so here let me log in in my org and let me enter the password here and once you add it here now you can see the actual uh, 
environment of the sales role right so just click on this object manager I have a custom object that is called student so let's see it's working or not for the custom object uh, go to the field and relationship and I want to query on that records let's say a student name so just copy that API name here right and paste it here with the comma if you have more than uh, one field so you can use with the help of comma like this I want to use let's say anything as you have let's say email name owner based on your need so you can use that right so here I just use like phone number as well so let me copy this phone number and paste it here from which object A student object so you can enter here the custom object API name and click on this send button and now you will be see like 200 okay means successfully response coming from the server and now you can find out all the information regarding my custom object that is called student information now you can see this is the first record this is the third record of the student this is the uh, third is, uh, record and this is the second record right so based on your need you can do that like this so here this is the way to work on the SQL query under postman using SOAP API so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this inform uh, this is very informative for us this video so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates like this and please keep in touch so till then bye bye take care see ya